Well, welcome back. Thanks for your company this morning. A new study has identified six different habits anyone can do to reduce their risk of dementia and memory decline. Researchers in China studied the health of almost 30,000 people over 10 years. Here with the results is neuroscientist and surgeon Dr. Rahul Jandil. Um, doctor, good morning to you. Let's get straight to it. What are the six habits? Well, it's interesting. They sound familiar, but they're also being proven to be important. So it's eating right, which is the Mediterranean diet, exercising. It doesn't have to be too burdensome, brisk walking. Don't smoke or drink. Those feel obvious. And then social interaction and brain games. That's a new finding that people who are more engaged, we're starting to prove it. We've always had a hunch, but now those six things are sort of the mainstay of how to prevent dementia and also how to treat it if you are having memory issues. So you see here, here on the screen, I think it's very important to look at that and say the more of these you can do, you can get put into a favorable group. And all of them, other than smoking, which we can touch upon later, but all of them, you know, getting started with a bit of it will get you where you need to go. Mm. So you don't have to be a, a vigilant and adamant, you know, health nut about what you eat, but try to eat the Mediterranean diet. You don't have to exercise every day, but try to have a couple of brisk walks. And, and when you put all those together, mm. they're finding that has the best use. Uh, interesting. So what does social contact involve? Well, this is a very tricky one because it's a, it's a nebulous term. They don't know how to phrase it, but you know, going out, interacting with people, talking to family, getting together, enjoying your time together, that feels narrow for the next generation. They're not looking yet at does social media count as social interaction for the younger generation. Mm. But in this study, social contact was physically engaging people in your community and your family. Okay, um, these uh, lifestyle changes, um, can they be or have a, an effect for someone who already is diagnosed with dementia? Yeah, so this is the most powerful thing is they looked at dementia, but they also looked at memory impairment. So whether you're Chris Hemsworth and you have an ominous diagnosis of potentially getting Alzheimer's in the future, whether you're Bruce Willis and dealing with something, or whether you're like many of us who don't want to become forgetful, these six things apply no matter where you are on that continuum. I think that's the optimistic message that these are the lifestyle changes we can make because we don't have a good medicine. It's an interesting study. Um, it's quite a large study. Um, mm -hmm. and, and some of those things, um, some of those habits, um, some of, I know my Chinese friends, they, they, they have, they're doing all five of some of those six. Um, so, so were they able to see in that any evidence of changes over there? Yeah, uh, it's a good, that's a great question. So they, four out of six puts you in the favorable group. That's how the study was designed. Okay. I just want to comment, but if you're a smoker, you can't say, look, I'm vegan, I'm exercising, <laughs> I'm not drinking, and I'm hanging out with my friends. That's not <laughs> going to undo so that one. So the list which one am I going to do that to one, sacrifice? So my criticism with the study is the, the smoking shouldn't be, it, smoking is bad in many, many ways. Yeah. You take that out, and you look at the other five, and I think that's, that's the root map. Hey there, Today fans, Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?